Uh, well, I always like had the love for like road hockey, but I could never like skate that good. So my parents signed me up, and then that's how it pretty much all started. Dominic Barbosa is a native of Terrace, British Columbia, before moving to Salmon Arm. Dominic currently attends the AL Fortune Hockey Academy and says he'll never stop playing hockey, even if it's just recreationally. Known as Dom to his friends, Barbosa also boxes at the local boxing club and hopes he can continue that in the future as well. Playing by myself in the kitchen, my old house. My sister, she grew up playing hockey, so kind of just kicked into it and enjoyed it. Braden Haskell dreams of one day being able to play for the Boston College Eagles. He believes it would be an honor to play in the NHL, but he does understand the odds. Haskell personally would like to play in one of the elite hockey leagues in Europe. Uh, my brother, my dad, my other brother played hockey and they just kind of put me into it. Cole Nisi captained this year's Bantam Tier 2 Salmon Arm Silver Tips. Balancing baseball, hockey and farm work is never easy. However, Cole's dedication and persistence has paid off this year. Cole was named to the All-Star team for the Tier 2 division at the Kamloops International Bantam Ice Hockey Tournament. I didn't really know how to skate, so my parents put me in skating lessons and I did that up to probably Adam. Colton Dodge grew up looking up to Canadian goaltender Martin Brodeur. Taking after his older brothers, Colton decided to join hockey and quickly learned playing in between the pipes was his calling. Dodge hopes to one day follow in his older brother Brent's footsteps and get an education while being able to play the sport he loves. Hockey, the league of minor hockey in Canada where careers arguably begin, according to some, and where pressure is at an all-time high. In Salmon Arm, British Columbia, the Bantam Tier 2 Championship showed scouts the best talent across British Columbia in the age group of Bantam. The goal for these 14 to 15 year old players is to progress to the higher elite leagues of hockey, such as Junior A leagues like the BCHL or British Columbia Hockey League, or the Western Hockey League, or WHL for short. Many players in the age group of Bantam believe that this year in particular is quite important due to the WHL's Bantam Draft. Yeah, so the Bantam Draft is for players. Uh, this year it's going to be 2001 born players. So those players will be either 14 or the, from January to May 5th, the draft age. Some players will be 15 if they had a, a birth date in, the, in that catchment zone. Um, you know, the Bantam Draft is uh, all of our clubs select players in the Bantam Draft. So we have 22 clubs in the league. Um, it usually is about anywhere from 10 to 14 rounds of drafting, so about 200, over 220 players a year get drafted into the Bantam Draft. And essentially, if you're drafted in the Bantam Draft, um, players would be have the opportunity to play for that club or be list, they're under that club's rights, so those players would attend that club's rookie camp if they choose to do so in the following August of that year. Before becoming the senior manager of player development with the Western Hockey League, Kurt Hill played for the Kelowna Rockets in the Regina Pats. Hill was drafted by the Rockets 40th overall in the 2003 WHL Bantam Draft. It's an exciting time for any player. It's, uh, you know, it's, uh, there's a lot of pressure that season. I remember going back to those years, uh, uh, the games seem a little bit more intense. It's kind of, it seems when you go from Pee Wee to Bantam, it just raises that extra level. Everybody gets a little bit quicker and... Uh, seeing those scouts in the stands, it's an, it's an exciting time and I remember uh, going through it and clicking through the refresh button on, on the internet on draft day, wondering where, where you're going to go at a certain point. But, uh, you know, it's not the be all end all. There's not everyone's going to get drafted at the end of the day and uh, for those that do, it's great, you know, cherish that, that opportunity and the, that you did get drafted. But for those that don't, uh, you know, you get the opportunity to wake up the next morning and put the work in to become a, a listed player in our league as well. My coaches were asked by the Everett Silvertips because the, the scout said he liked the way I played and he was asking what my name was. Not any calls yet, but I'm hoping I get a couple at least. Uh, they've emailed my parents, some of them. Moose Jaw Warriors, the Everett emailed my dad and Kelowna. Well, you know, I would, I would tell them not to focus 100% on the Bantam draft. As I mentioned, you know, the Bantam draft, not everyone's going to get drafted. There's so many exceptional players across Western Canada and the Western United States that you know, unfortunately we can only select 220 where there's, you know, you watch the kids play Bantam hockey now and the games come so far with the skill level that's out there. There could be 
you know, 400 to 500 picks in the band of draft ideally, but you know, everyone's not going to get drafted, but my advice to players would be as long as you're getting better every day, that's the biggest thing. You know, wake up, when you go to the rink, make it a purpose when you play a game, when you practice or you work out, just make it a purpose to make sure that you're getting better and uh, you know, hockey will figure itself out from there. Carson Bolduck was also drafted in the WHL Bantam Draft and played for the Kamloops Blazers and Prince George Cougars. Bolduck did, however, make the switch to Junior A and recommends that Bantam players evaluate all their options and don't just dive in head first. You know, when I was going through the Bantam Draft days, uh, you don't really hear a whole lot about Junior A and the NCAA scholarships and all that. So, I mean, that's a big part of it nowadays is the game's changing, like I said. Lots of more players are going over to NCAA route. So I mean, just for heads up, I, I just recommend that you look into both ways. I mean, if I could go back, I think I'd definitely go back to Junior A and not go to the WHL. Um, junior A is awesome, and I know not a lot of people say, say anything about it, but um, if you're not looking to go to WHL, I, I highly recommend Junior A. I mean, I loved playing here in my hometown, and I had the luxury of living at home, so. Um, you know what, uh, Colton's definitely talked to us a lot about, um, you know, what his options are because he's not familiar with it and neither am I because it's a whole new stage for us, right? Um, is he nervous? I think he is. You know, I think it's, it's a big step, it's a next step, but we've always told him that, you know, you just got to do your best and every time you go on the ice because you just, you just, you have to, that's, that's the way we were brought up and it's expected of you and you can still lose a game and, and play a good game. Uh, some of the players are just like out there, they're just like, you kind of tell, they're just not like, they're always mad, they're always angry, it's like they're not like having a good time, so think, think back to that. So that's a... At the end of the day, Bantam players are 14 and 15 year olds. They still have to balance school with their conditioning, practices and games. Mondays I went to the gym, Tuesdays gym and then had hockey after the gym. When I get home I do more homework and then Wednesdays I would have school then I'd have homework and then dry on. And Thursdays we have early morning before school then we go to school. You don't get, you gotta get your work done to school and you gotta get it done on the ice as well. I've always been big on school so you know what if your school grades for all my boys if they drop you don't get to go to practice. So they've all been really great, fantastic. They've been keeping up their grades and uh, I think that's important because that'll give you options, you know, after your hockey career and that, you know, it, in, whether it's due to injuries or you just don't make it, right? So yeah, education's huge and backup plan is, is a, a must. And yes, they do go through the same struggles that teenagers go through. For example, over the years, Braden has had to address bullying and prove doubters wrong that he deserved to be on the team despite his dad coaching. He used to bug me when I was littler and I wasn't as good as, good as I knew I could be, but I've fit in more this year other than last year and proved that I'm not just there because my dad's coaching. I think it's an important year. Do I think it's like if he doesn't get drafted this year, is it the end of the world? No. Um, you know, he's got a lot of hockey left in, in, in him. He's still young yet. I mean, he's only 15, right? So let's be realistic here. So it's important, but I think uh, people put a lot of pressure on to that aspect of it. And, you know, if if he gets drafted in, great. If he doesn't, it's okay too. But he's got to learn to. It's it's one of those things that, you know, it's it's like tryouts, right? Uh, you don't always make. You try out for the team, but you don't always make the team, and that disappointment might be there. And um, you just have to learn to deal with it. Friendships, sportsmanship, enjoyment, passion, and love for the game of hockey, all while growing as a person, as well as a player. That's what Bantam Hockey is about.
Oh, oh, oh.